Hello, everyone. I have Adriana here with me, and she's going to give a video testimonial to having worked with me in the past, whether it was things I did in the past with her and the stuff that we're doing now with the body code, emotion code, and the belief code. So, Adriana, nice to have you here doing this for me. And so what is your experience? What would you like to share about doing energy work? I think it's been something that, first of all, needs to be talked about more. And second of all, it's one of those things that you can see benefits from it immediately. And a perfect example of this is the first time I worked with Linda, I had just graduated college. I was living at home and I was going through a really challenging breakup. And it was one of those, one of those devastating breakups at the time where, you know, I'm crying every day and I can't focus on work and I'm not hungry and nothing's exciting and all of that kind of thing. And I did these guided meditations with Linda and I, it really took me outside of my body and out of all the emotions that I was feeling and into this different experience and, and more of the subconscious where I could see, I'm very visual when I go through this. So I was able to have this whole experience inside of my mind where I got to see my, my heart kind of like breaking through it and opening up and and I came out of it feeling like I really lifted all of the devastation and the sadness and the fear of ever trying to get back into dating again after a breakup like that. And it would it was such a transformative experience, especially at, at that age, to be able to go through that and come through on the other side and be able to feel, you know, confident to go back out into that world. So that's one example of the, the guided meditation side of things that I've done with Linda, but what we've been doing more recently goes more into my career and the kind of um, transformation that I'm trying to do right now with my career. I'm a huge Giants fan. I work from home for an insurance company and I'm at the point in my life where um, quite frankly, I'm bored with my job and I'm feeling, I got to the point where I was feeling like I needed to do something different. And I had tried things in the past. You know, I um, thought about being a health coach. I had done a whole uh, integrative nutrition certificate. I um, also did, I used to teach fitness. So I went through these different avenues and nothing really stuck. And I'm at the point now where I have turned my passion and love for the Giants, something that's been with me my entire life, whether they've been winning Super Bowls or they've been losing horrible games, um, into this avenue of a new career that I, I want to pursue. And with that and with the experience that I have, which is not the typical experience of the people who do broadcasting or journalism or sideline reporting, those types of things, I don't have that type of experience. And with that comes a lot of limiting beliefs. And I'm I'm feeling like the biggest battle I'm fighting is myself against my brain and my subconscious. It's not the people out there. It's me versus myself and getting to the point where I'm confident and I'm removing these limited beliefs. And that's something that Linda and I have worked on a lot. And over the last few weeks, the work that we've done, I have felt this weight that I didn't know was there on my chest has just been lifted. And I feel like I'm able to, to move through the things that I want to do. And it's all kind of making sense to me now. You know, um, what's fun about that is number one, it's not your mind that's taking you here. It's the heart, right? Because you have this love. Mm -hmm. You've always had this. You shared this with your grandfather. You know, your whole family are such giant fans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can giggle because I know the whole family, right? Mm -hmm. um, that that's leading the way. And that's all you need, really, is that love, that desire, that inspiration, that's going to take you everywhere. So yeah, we want to get that head stuff out of the way so you can just be in your heart and do what you came to do here. But I remember when when we were going through the stuff with the breakup back then, you were also, I think, looking for another job. And you also were talking about how you wanted to get into all the stuff with sports, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Remember that? So you you had you had your eye on it in some way. And now here it almost magically came to you, right? It, this whole thing just kind of blew up. It's kind of like you've just been guided and you're following this thing, which is great. So it's good that we're doing the work we're doing now to make sure there's nothing going to block that, right? That you can just go with that flow and take it like, you know, exponentially further than where you are at this moment. 
So yeah, that's cool. And it's all energy. So um, thank that's you awesome. for the uh, testimonial. Love it. Keep being the awesomeness that you are. I think you're wearing, are you, do you have a jersey under there? A giant I shirt? have a giant <laughs> shirt on today. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, what's your, what's your uh, Instagram called? How can people find you on there? It's at New York Giants Fangirl. So I am very active on there and TikTok. And then I also have a podcast that comes out once a week, which is why I'm wearing the giant shirt because I recorded a new episode earlier today. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> now, is it also the same name for the TikTok? Yes. Yeah, okay. Did you start a website with all of this yet? No. Okay. Just the podcast and the social channels. Okay. All right, cool. All right, well, thank you very much. And uh we're going to do another session with belief code around the stuff we worked on earlier today, which you'll, you guys, I'll probably link to another video. It was body code session. Um, yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye everybody. It's kind of cool. Cause you were even younger. I, I love working with younger people. Cause you guys, you're still a younger person. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can take this and run with it you know like mm -hmm. I love working with the 20 year old people because they really they they take off with it whereas someone like more jaded like a 60 year old person might be like eh, whatever <laughs> right yeah I know, think we're a lot less skeptical to it and I also think like the way that the world has evolved and changed over the last like 10 15 years um, especially with technology, I think we're all kind of realizing that like we need some sort of balance and stuff in our life. And I talk about yeah. this with my mom a lot that I think for our generation, it's not really religion, but it's more this spiritual meditation, this type of thing that we see benefits with both for ourselves and with others. And you can still kind of, in my opinion, have like a similar experience like you would in church. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely.